come with me on one of my favorite collaborations I've ever done. We're heading to Royal Ascot. Ascot is something I've wanted to do for a long, long time. And I'm so lucky to be working with Churchill Downs again to be heading to Ascot. But first, let's get dressed. It's Friday. We're going to Royal Ascot. So let's get dressed. So Ascot does have a strict dress code. That dress code is morning wear, so trousers, socks, vest, shirt, waistcoat. We'll add a tie for a timepiece. We go to our 63 Omega Geneve. For our shoes, we go to a black penny loafer. And for our scent, we go polo red. We'll add our tailcoat. We'll add a pocket square. And last but not least, we'll finish with our hat. And that's morning wear for Ascot. So now that I'm dressed and we've arrived at Ascot, uh, you see lots of people having their picnics, lots of men dressed in their morning wear and top hats looking very dapper. Uh, then I was very lucky enough to be interviewed by Royal Ascot TV themselves, asking me all about men's fashion, um, my juxtaposition between my tattoos and morning wear. Then I got stopped and asked for some photo ops from some other lovely folks around Ascot and me. I'm more than happy to oblige. Uh, so stood around. Here's me being goofy. Uh, stood around getting my outfit check done and captured by lovely folk and then soon after this i turned into photographer myself so here's me pretending to be much cooler than i actually am this is one of my favorite outfits i've ever worn and as i mentioned here's me turning photographer for this lovely couple that asked for a photo of themselves they looked amazing then the royal procession happened uh, so the Prince and Princess of Wales, the Duke of Kent and Prince Michael of Kent all arrived. So all the people lined up to get a glimpse because you don't see these sort of folk every day. Then back to our royal enclosure where we had a wonderful view of the track, a wonderful view of beautiful hats, beautiful suits. And then we needed a little pick me up, so I taught Laura, my guest, my coffee trick. So if anybody doesn't know, this comes from the south of Italy. You put a rim of co coffee around the espresso cup. So when you drink it, the espresso goes directly under your nose and intensifies the taste of the coffee. Do this is a game changer for your espresso, trust me. So then we saw this lovely exchange of this man and woman doing a little hat swap. I thought this was lovely. Then we headed down to the saddle ring to get a closer look at the beautiful horses being paraded around in front of some of the trainers and owners. And then of course we had to make our way to the Kentucky Derby stand to see that gold cup. Next year is the 150th Kentucky Derby. I cannot wait to be there. Check the description below if you want to buy tickets for next year's 150th anniversary Kentucky Derby and I'll see you there. And I'll leave you with this clip of the incredible atmosphere that was around Asco at the end of the day. quick escape before the traffic back to the airport the next morning to fly back to Rome so the sun was absolutely blistering in London which was wonderful but then I got to Rome airport and all the trains were finished so I wasn't spending crazy money on a hotel for literally four hours so I chilled in the airport until the first train got my train back up north to Umbria where I've been living all summer the weather was amazing all the flowers have started to bloom so this is a huge field of sunflowers so lovely to see after spending six hours in an airport 
But then we got back to Umbria, we had a quick change, packed our bags and headed straight back to the airport the following morning to head back to Dublin. And that concludes my trip of Royal Ascot. What an incredible experience. Thank you so much, Churchill Downs, for having me once again. Experience of a lifetime.